In this video, I'm going to find the solution of the system of ODEs, which is uh, these three ODEs given the initial conditions x0 is equal to 2, y0 is equal to 0, z0 is equal to 1. So we have that system of ODEs there and those initial conditions. For this given system, we can write it uh, in matrix form as x prime is equal to a multiplied by x. The x there is uh, the column vector, which is uh, the dependent variables x, y, z. And the matrix A is the matrix which has the coefficients of the dependent variables x, y, z. So in this case, we see that our A is the 3 by 3 matrix, which has elements 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 2, minus 1, 1, 3. So now writing our system in this form here, we would have our x prime, y prime, z prime, is equals to the matrix A multiplied by the column vector which, which has the dependent variables X, Y, and Z. And for our initial conditions, we are saying X naught, Y naught, Z naught, it will be equals to 2, 0, 1. So that's our system in matrix form there. If the eigenvalues of the matrix A are lambda 1, lambda 2, and lambda 3, with corresponding linearly independent eigenvectors v1, v2, and v3, the general solution of the system of ODEs is given by x is equals to c1 multiplied by v1 exponent of lambda 1t plus c2 v2 exponent of lambda 2t plus c3 v3 exponent of lambda 3t. So that's uh, the form of the general solution that we have there. But as you see in this uh, form of uh, solution, we are having eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix A. So looking at uh, this matrix A, to get its eigenvalues, we find the characteristic polynomial, which is the determinant of A minus lambda i n. So after finding the characteristic polynomial, we then go on and find its roots. And the roots of the characteristic polynomial are the ones that we call the eigenvalues. So in this case, we'll get that those eigenvalues are lambda 1 equals to 1, lambda 2 equals to 2, and lambda 3 is equals to 3. So those are the eigenvalues there. But in our equation here, we are also having eigenvectors, the V is there. For the eigenvectors, there are non-zero vectors that satisfy the equation A minus lambda i n multiplied by the vector x is equals to the zero vector. So if we find the corresponding linearly independent eigenvectors, we will get that those vectors are for lambda 1, are 0, 1, minus a half. For lambda 2, the linearly independent eigenvector is 1, 1, 0. For lambda 3, the linearly independent eigenvector is 1, 1, a half. So we now have the eigenvalues and the linearly independent eigenvectors. So for this eigenvalue and its linearly independent eigenvector will substitute it here. For this eigenvalue and its linearly independent eigenvector, we will substitute it here. And then for the last one, this eigenvalue and its linearly independent eigenvector, we substitute it on this part here. So we go on and do the substitutions there, and we'll get that our x, y, z is equals to c1 multiplied by the vector 0, 1, minus a half, exponent of t, plus c2, multiplied by 1, 1, 0, multiplied by exponent of t, plus c3, multiplied by the vector 1, 1, half, multiplied by exponent of 3t. So that's the form of uh, the general solution that we have now, but we can go on and simplify this using matrix operations. We can just multiply this vector here, by these two expressions and then combine them. And then equate the left and right hand side and we'll get that x is equals to c2 multiplied by exponent of 2t plus c3 multiplied by exponent of 3t. Of the y, it is equals to c1 multiplied by exponent of t plus c2 multiplied by exponent of 2t plus c3 multiplied by exponent of 3t. On the z there is equals to minus c1 divided by 2 multiplied by exponent of t plus c3 divided by 2 multiplied by exponent of 3t. So those are the equations that we are having now. We then go on and use the initial conditions to solve for the constants c1, c2, and c3. 
the initial conditions that I'm talking about are these ones here. So looking at the first one there, it is saying x naught is equals to 2. We are saying when t is equals to 0, x is equals to 2. We substitute it in with this equation, then we get 2 is equals to c1 plus c3. This one here is saying when t is equals to 0, y is equals to 0. Substitute it in with this equation here, then we get 0 is equals to c1 plus c2 plus c3. The third initial condition, this one here is saying when t is equals to 0, z is equals to 1. Substitute it into this equation here, then we have 1 is equals to minus c1 divided by 2 plus c3 divided by 2. So I'll go on and label this equation, number 1, the next equation, number 2, and this one we call it equation number 3. We now go on and uh, solve equation 1, 2, and 3 simultaneously. And when we solve those three equations, we will get that C1 is equal to minus 2, C3 is equal to 0, C2 is equal to 2. So we have now the values of the constants C1, C2, and C3. We then substitute these constants here into these equations there so that we get our solution. And when we do the substitution there, we will get that x is equal to 2 exponent of 2t, y is equal to minus 2 exponent of t plus 2 exponent of 2t, and our set is equal to exponent of t. So what we are having here, that's the solution of the system of ODEs given the initial conditions that we had there.